Taxi with me. Digitally designed and now leaning into the second phase of flight testing, one of two Boeing purpose-built jets for the U.S. Air Force T-7A Red Hawk Advanced Trainer Program taxis into position. All right, we're ready for takeoff. And Chief Test Pilot Steve Schmidt pushes the throttle forward. Nozzle's good. Gear's coming up. The future of U.S. Air Force Advanced Pilot Training is aloft. Our command red pass, we're checking in, passing two for 5,000 VFRs. I'm Paul Neewald. I'm the Vice President and Program Manager for the T-7 program here at Boeing. Okay, flight control check. This is an exciting day. This is where we go demonstrate high angle of attack maneuverability as well as departure resistance. Yep. Key elements in demonstrating the fighter-like performance of the agile jet that went from model-based engineering and design on a laptop to first flight in just 36 months. Digital engineering has really been a game changer to this program. We're actually flying at the same time we're building the new jets. In fact, it's because of the T-7A's digital DNA that an anomaly at higher angles of attack called wing rock was discovered long before the first U.S. Air Force pilots ever climb into the cockpit. It allowed us to identify issues early, get those fixes in. We probably wouldn't have discovered something like this until two years from now. Those fixes were loaded into the jet's updated operational flight software and are being validated today. Record 53, climb maintain front of 350. My name's Brad Nelson. I am the senior test program manager for the T7A program. Wind up turn, targeting 5Gs. We've been able to move through our testing much quicker than we have on previous airplanes because of that digital engineering. Even so, the COVID-19 pandemic has challenged the program and its global supply chain. We're seeing the impacts of the pandemic in, in our build and it's, it's delayed parts coming to us and thereby delaying us uh, putting the aircraft together. Neewalt says that the team is committed to making up any delay in schedule by using the same innovative mindset that's fueled the T-7A Red Hawk program since its start. And no one knows that better than the pilots who are flying the advanced trainer into its second phase of testing. Uh, it flew squawk free, so we were extremely happy with the way the jet performed. It's what I love about this team. They don't take anything as an excuse, but as a challenge to make sure that we can deliver this system to our Air Force customer to give them the best training system ever. Contact Kansas Center 128.35.